Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the different ways to free up space on Windows 11. If your computer is running out of space, there are a number of tools that you can use to reclaim storage before thinking about upgrading the main drive. Operating a computer with a full drive will make your computer sluggish and cause many errors. You should never use more than 70% of the total capacity to avoid performance issues. Windows 11 offers many ways to free up space when your computer's hard drive has little available storage. Some of the easiest methods include using the temporary file settings, cleanup recommendations, and the storage sense features. You can also perform other actions such as disabling hibernation, scanning for malware, uninstalling apps you don't need, and using an external storage. Okay, let's dive into the different ways you can use to free up driver space on your computer. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, let's look at cleanup recommendations. Cleanup recommendations is a feature that automates the process of identifying the contents you can delete to help free up hard drive space on the computer, including junk unused and large files, as well as unused apps. So to use cleanup recommendations on Windows 11, use these steps. Open Star and look for settings. Open the app. And now let's go to System, Storage, and then Cleanup Recommendation is going to analyze the contents on your computer. And from here, you can see all the recommendations. For example, in Temporal Files, the system is recommending to delete Temporal Windows installation files, the contents of the Recycle Bin, and the contents of the Downloads folder. Just remember that sometimes you might have some important files in this folder, so make sure that if you have anything important, you transfer them to another location. Also, keep in mind that the recommendations will be different on every computer. Once once you selected the items that you want to clear, just click the clean up button and click continue. Then we also have a section that will show large and unused files. In this case, I don't have any files that the computer identify as junk or anything that is recommended to delete. Now, if you have files synced to the cloud and they're also available on the computer, here you will have the option to make those files only available online. That way you will free up space on your computer. And here, that's where you will find the unused apps. So if it's been a while, you haven't used a specific app, the system is going to detect that and it's going to list them here. And then you can see which one are those and just make a decision you still need those application and if you don't need them you can go ahead and remove them now the second method that we're going to look at is temporary files which is a feature that allows us to delete files that are not essentials to run the operating system for instance leftover files after installing your version of windows 11 upgrade logs reports for errors temporary windows installation files and others so if you want to use this feature do this open start and look for settings then open the app and we're going to go to system then we're going to open storage and from here we're going to click on temporary files now the system might take a while to scan and list all the files that you can delete from the system now select the items that you want to clear from your computer to free up space and as you can see many items are already checked if you want to keep some of these files just make sure to clear the option and you can add other ones now again if you trying to delete the contents of the downloads folder make sure you understand that everything on that folder actually i'm just going to open file explorer and i'm going to show you that this is the folder that the that the feature is going to erase so if you have anything important on this folder make sure to transfer them to another location now, if we were to clear all the temporary files Let's see how much space we will like free up on the computer. So as you can see, in this case, we would have saved 15 gigabytes. Just to show you how this feature works to select thumbnails, and I'm going to clear the other ones. And then just click the Remove Files button and click Continue. Now let's look at Storage Sense, which is another feature that can help you to free up space automatically whenever the drive slow in space. It does this by deleting temporary system and apps files, emptying the recycle bin, contents in the downloads folder, and converting files already synced to OneDrive as online only content. So to use the Storage Sense to free up space on Windows 11, do this. Open Start and look for settings. Then Let's go to system and then let's go to storage. And from here, let's open the storage sense page. Now, make sure that this option is turned on and automatic using content cleanup is also turned on. Then you have to choose how you want this feature to work to clear space 
on the computer. Now, by default, it's set to this option. However, you can run this every day, every week, or every month. Usually, you just want to use the default setting. From this setting, you can choose how you want to clear the contents of the recycled bin. So if you want to delete the most files, you can set it to one day. However, you can use 14, 30 days, or 60 days. So basically, when you set the schedule, all the files that are older than the specific date, those are the files that are going to be deleted. So let's say if you put 14 days, then the system is going to clear the recycled bin, but it's going to keep all the files deleted in the last 14 days. Now, this is the option that you also have to pay attention to because you can do the same thing. And if you don't want to delete automatically any of the contents of the downloads folder, make sure to select the never option, which is actually the default option. Now, this locally available cloud content setting allows you to control when the system should make files that are already uploaded to, in this case, OneDrive available only online to free up space on your computer. You will still have access to the files through File Explorer, but you will need an internet connection to open them. When you configure the settings for storage sense, you can close the application and let the system manage the storage. However, if you need to free up space immediately, make sure to click the Run Storage Sense Now button. Now, it is not an option on this particular case, but if you recently upgraded to a new version of Windows, you will also see an option to delete the previous installation files, and that would actually be listed at the bottom of the page. That will actually sometimes free up between 15 and 20 and maybe a little more gigabytes of space. Now, that only happens during the first 10 days since you upgraded the system. After the 10 days, the system will delete those files automatically. Although the Hibernate feature allows you to conserve energy, it also requires a large amount of space to work since the content on memory will be saved on the hard drive to preserve the current session. However, you can disable this feature to free up space on your computer too. To disable hibernation to free up disk space on Windows 11, use this steps. First, open start and look for command prompt or the terminal. Actually, I'm going to use the terminal. Right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. And then to turn off hibernation, just type this command power CFG hibernate off and then press enter. After you complete the steps, the system will disable the feature thus freeing up additional disk space on your computer. A virus or another type of malware can corrupt system files and use storage space to the point that it leaves the hard drive without any space for additional files. You can use the Microsoft Defender antivirus or another third party tools to scan and remove malware to free up space on your computer. To scan and remove a virus or another type of malware infecting the storage space, affecting the storage space on your computer, do this. Open Star and look for Windows Security and open the app. Then let's go to the virus protection page. From here, let's just go to the scan options. Then select the full scan option and then click the scan now button. Now the antivirus is going to scan the system and try to detect any type of malware that might be infecting your computer. Of course, it is important to note that this option will only free up space on your computer if the computer is actually infected with a malware that's, that's actually taking up space on your computer. Now, if this option does not resolve the issue and you still have a malware on the computer, what you can do is just to use a offline scan and you will select this option. And when you click this now now button, the computer will restart and the antivirus is going to load during startup, it's going to process the scan, and then it will try to detect and remove any virus on the computer. On Windows 11, programs can take from a few bytes to many gigabytes. One way you can quickly free up space is by removing those applications that are wasting space or you rarely use. To uninstall unnecessary apps to free up space on Windows 11, use these steps. Open Start, look for Settings. Then let's go to Apps, Install Apps. From here, one thing you can do is just to sort the list by side using the large to small option. As you can see, I have a few applications that are taking some of the space on the computer. And just to give an example, I'm going to pick Copilot. And from here, I'm going to click the uninstall option. And then I'm going to click the uninstall option one more time. And that is going to remove the application free up space on the computer. And this way you can look for other apps and just make sure to uninstall them. Just continue to go through all the apps and make sure to remove all those applications that you no longer need. And that should free up from a few megabytes to several gigabytes, depending on how many apps you have installed on the computer. 
The operating system also includes the Windows.dv, which is the core database for Windows Search. The problem is that sometimes this file can grow very large for many reasons. If the computer is experiencing this issue, rebuilding the database can free up space and resolve search issues on your computer. So to recreate the Windows.dv file to reclaim storage on your computer, use these steps. Open Start and look for Settings. And then let's go to Privacy and Security. And then let's open the Search Windows page. And from here, we're going to scroll down and click the Advanced Indexing Options. From this page, we're going to click the Advanced button. And from here, we're going to click the Rebuild button. Now, an important note here is that clearing up the database will also trigger a re-indexing of your computer. So until all the index is done again, some of the files might not show up when performing a search. Of course, this feature will only free up space if, if you are actually running out of space because of an issue with this database. Now, OneDrive Files On Demand allows you to access files in the cloud without downloading them or using storage space on your computer. If you store a lot of files on your device, making OneDrive Files Online Only can help you to free up space on your computer. So to control the OneDrive Files On Demand feature, do this. Click on the OneDrive icon on the bottom right and then click on the gear button to access the settings and then click on settings. Now click on sync and backup Click on Advanced Settings, and then at the bottom of the page, make sure to click the Free Up Disk Space button. So you will still be able to access the files from the OneDrive folder, but you will need an internet connection in order to re-download them and open them. We can also use the Compact OS command line tool, which has been designed to reduce the footprint of the installation for low end devices. But it can also significantly reduce the disk space used by the operating system in apps, especially on devices with limited storage. You should only use this option if it is critical to reclaim every byte possible on the hard drive. Otherwise, consider that this feature may have a slight impact on the system performance, especially during files operation. To use Compact OS to free up space on Windows 11, use these steps. Open Start and look for Command Prompt or Terminal. Then right click the top result and select the Run as Administrator option. Now to enable Compact OS, we just need to run this command Compact, Compact OS, and then Always, like you see it on the screen. And then just press Enter. Now the process is going to start and it might take some time to complete. Now, using this feature, you won't save a lot of storage, but it will save you a few gigabytes, sometimes between two to five gigabytes and maybe a little bit more, depending on the setup that you have on your computer. Now, if you want to disable the feature, just need to type the compact compact OS with the switch never and then press enter. I'm not going to press enter right now because I have the feature running right here. Now, if your device is running low on space, deleting unnecessary files might not be enough. And in this case, you might have to use an external USB drive. So to export your files to a USB hard drive on Windows 11, this is what you do. First, you need to get a USB hard drive with enough space. This can be a USB flash drive or or a actual external hard drive with a USB cable. Then you need to connect it to a USB port on your computer and that drive is going to appear on File Explorer more specifically on this PC. So for example, here I connected this drive and the system is seeing it as the D drive. So in here, you can create different folders to transfer the files. So for this video, I'm just going to create one folder and, and I'm just going to name this folder data. Go to your profile folders, such as downloads or documents, depending where you have the files taking the most space. And then simply select the files that you want to transfer, right click on the selection. And here you can do two things. If you're going to copy a lot of files, it is best to use the copy option. And once the copy is done, then you can delete the files. Now, if you have one or two files, you can do the cut option. So right now I'm just going to use the copy option and then I'm going to open a new tab. And from here, I'm going to open the D drive, which is my external drive. I'm going to open the data folder and in here, I'm just going to right click on it and select the paste option.
Once the transfer is complete from the source folder, you can select the files that you transfer and then select the delete option. And that will free up space on your computer. Now, if you have a lot of folders with a lot of files, I would recommend you to transfer the files in chunks. So don't do all the files at once. That's because you might encounter errors. And if you have to cancel the transfer, you're not going to know the files that are missing and you will have to start all over again. So if you go with a group of files at a time, it will be much easier. It will take a little more time for you to do this manually, but that's the best way to do it. Now, if you have a Copella Plus PC and use Recall, this feature can use up to 150 gigabytes of space, depending on the write capacity. If your computer is running low on space, you can always delete some of all the snapshots to free up space on Windows 11. Also, you can even disable the feature to prevent snapshots from taking over the hard drive on your computer. So to free up space by disabling Windows Recall on Windows 11, do this. Open Star and look for Settings. Then go to Privacy and Security. Then open the Recall and Snapshots page. And from here, click on Delete Snapshots and then click the Delete All button and then confirm the deletion. Once you complete the steps and the snapshots will be deleted after you've done that, now you can turn off the Save Snapshots feature. And now the computer will no longer use up storage with this feature. Now, to delete snapshots without disabling Windows Recall, just keep this option turned on, but click the Delete All button and then confirm the deletion. Now, all the features that I show you in this video covers pretty much all the different ways that you can use to free up space on your computer. However, you can still use the disk cleanup tool. And to do that, open star and look for disk cleanup and click on the top result. Select the drive if you have multiple drives, click OK. Then click on cleanup system files button, click OK. And then from this page, select the items that you want to clear and just click the OK button to process to delete the files. This process might take some time depending on all the files that you have on your computer. And that's it. Those are the different ways that you can use to free up drive space on your computer. Let me know in the comments the methods that you use. Also, let me know in the comments the type of content that you would like me to cover more on the channel. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.